Scientists have recently made an astonishing discovery in our cosmic neighborhood evidence of an exceedingly rare missing link black hole. This intriguing find unveils an intermediate black hole located approximately 6,000 light years away within the Messiah 4 star cluster. Up until now, we've mainly categorized black holes into two distinct classes. Firstly, there are the colossal supermassive black holes, which dwell at the centers of galaxies and can weigh millions to billions of times the mass of our sun. And secondly, there are the smaller stellar mass black holes, born from the explosive deaths of massive stars, which typically weigh only a few times the mass of our sun. However, this recent groundbreaking discovery within a nearby star cluster challenges this binary classification. Astronomers have uncovered compelling evidence of a rare intermediate mass black hole, bridging the gap between the supermassive and stellar black holes. But what sets an intermediate mass black hole, or IMBH, apart? Why are they so elusive? How did astronomers stumble upon this exciting discovery? Based on existing research, one of the prime places to hunt for intermediate mass black holes is within the cores of globular clusters. These clusters consist of thousands to millions of stars held together by gravity, all originating from the same cosmic cloud. Many potential IMBHs have been proposed within such clusters, including one in the globular cluster Omega Centauri, as suggested by data from the Hubble Space Telescope in 2008. Subsequently, the Space Telescope identified two more credible IMBH candidates in 2009 and 2020, all within densely populated star clusters surrounding other galaxies. NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory also played a pivotal role in pinpointing potential hosts for intermediate black holes, particularly in 2018. However, the challenge lies in the considerable distances at which these candidate objects are situated. The available data has often been insufficient to firmly confirm these hypotheses, leaving many findings inconclusive. This is precisely why the recent investigation into the Messiah 4 cluster holds tremendous significance. Nestled about 6,000 light years from Earth within the Scorpius constellation, Messiah 4 is the nearest globular cluster to our planet. It's estimated to be around 12.2 billion years old and spans a diameter of about 75 light years. So how did astronomers determine that there's an intermediate black hole concealed within this densely packed cluster of stars? The answer lies in a collaborative effort that analyzed 12 years worth of data from the Hubble Space Telescope, combined with information from the Gaia mission. By scrutinizing the precise movements of around 6,000 stars at the cluster's core, researchers observed something intriguing. The stars appeared to be influenced by a dense mass, nearly 800 times the mass of our sun, situated at the cluster's center. This discovery raises a crucial question. Is this mass a singular entity, like an intermediate mass black hole, or a collection of massive objects, such as individual stellar black holes? Despite the proximity of M4, it's impossible to resolve individual stars at its densely packed core directly. However, researchers found an ingenious way to overcome this limitation. They studied the motion of high-velocity stars. If a high-velocity star is connected to a potential IMBH, its rapid speed can be attributed to a dynamic kick from a close encounter with the compact object. The presence of a high-velocity star alone doesn't definitively identify the nature of the central mass. So, researchers conducted simulations to explore what would happen if the high-velocity star were removed. Surprisingly, the cluster still exhibited a mass excess at its core, albeit with a slightly more extended distribution. This extended distribution suggests that the central mass might consist of multiple objects rather than a solitary IMBH. However, in the case of M4, the mass isn't dispersed across a large enough space to accommodate a swarm of dense objects. Moreover, if it were composed of multiple objects, the system would likely be unstable given the gravitational interactions between them. All signs point to the conclusion that the mass at the heart of the star cluster is not a collection of smaller black holes, but rather an intermediate one, roughly 800 times the mass of the Sun. This discovery holds immense value in shedding light on the mysterious origins of supermassive black holes, a puzzle that has confounded astronomers for years.
As astronomers continue to gather data through future observations by Hubble, Gaia, and the James Webb Space Telescope, the enigma of how supermassive black holes grow and evolve might inch closer to being unraveled. While the formation of stellar mass black holes is relatively well understood, the mechanisms behind the birth and growth of supermassive black holes remain elusive. Intermediate mass black holes, like the one discovered in M4, promise to provide a valuable perspective on this ongoing cosmic mystery. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey of discovery. The universe continually surprises us with its hidden wonders, and the recent revelation of the intermediate mass black hole in the Messiah 4 star cluster is a testament to the enduring curiosity of human exploration. If you found this video as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your fellow space enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more awe-inspiring updates from the cosmos. Stay tuned for more exciting revelations as astronomers continue to unveil the mysteries of our universe. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars and dreaming of the wonders that await us beyond the skies.